guys, welcome back to Ignite Fitness. Today we're gonna go through a hourglass abs workout. So we're gonna really focus on our obliques or our corset muscles to cinch in that waist um, and get a nice shake to our bodies. Of course, when we're working our core, we also wanna engage our transverse and our rectus abdominis because we need balance, but we're gonna sp spend a special time focusing on those obliques today. So we got 10 moves, we're gonna repeat them twice, 40 seconds on of 15 second rest. Let's get started. So lay on your back, feet plant, knees up. We're gonna go with the heel touches, alternating side to side. Three, two, one, let's go. So tuck that chin, gaze up towards the ceiling, and you're reaching for the heel. If you have the range of motion and you wanna to aim to get to that pinky toe, or reaching closer to like more like the ball of your foot, Give it a go, but just reach and really start bringing some heat into those obliques. Sliding back and forth across your mat, using that core, pulling side to side. Beautiful. Less than 10, guys, come on. Beautiful, so you stay on your back. I'm gonna turn this way just so you can kinda get a nicer view and view this from a different angle. So taking your hands out to the side, bent knees, we're going to go into some windshield wipers, alternating side to side, let's go. So you really wanna squeeze that core here, guys, to pull the legs up. And one thing you need to make sure is that both shoulder blades are stuck to the ground. You don't want that opposite shoulder blade lifting up, otherwise the move is defeated. So really squeeze through that core, find that stabilization, pulling it up. Anytime we're doing a twisting movement, we're really working that core set. Exhale on the lift. Beautiful, all right. Flipping onto our side, we're gonna go into some plank. Side dip, so you can either do this from a supported bent knee position here, or if you want to challenge yourself, take those legs up and go into some nice dips. So we're just going down and up, down and up. And as you can always progress these workouts. If you want to make them easier and modify, you take your arm up so you're not putting that pressure or that added weight onto the hip. If you find that this is too easy and you want to pick a three pound, five pound, eight pound weight and put it on the hip and use that extra resistance for the plank dip, absolutely do that, guys. This is your workout. You modify or advance the move however you need. Almost through this side. And you know when we do one thing on one side, we gotta flip and repeat it on the other. Beautiful. Flip it around. Quick sip of water for me. All right, get into that position on your forearm, bent knee or straight knee. Let's go. Dip it low, lift it high. And when we squeeze on that lift, we almost want a bit of an arch through that oblique so that we're really squeezing up and tightening everything, keeping the hip bones parallel to the wall. So we want everything facing forward. We're not rotating back. And if you do have your arm on your hip, Make sure that that arm is, is nice and parallel to the sky, but that's not rotating back as well. Less than 10 on this side. Beautiful. Flip around onto our bums, we got Russian twists. We've done this one before guys, you know what it is. So leaning back on the bum, into that nice C curve. Bring that low back as close to the mat as you can. Taking the arms and just visualizing as though you have like a medicine ball in front of you. You're gonna work that through the twist. And then here again, if you want to advance it, you can lift the legs off the mat for a little bit more of a challenge, or you can hold a weight in the hand and tap that from side to side or you can combine the both. There's always ways to advance your practice, to get stronger. 
Uh, I love this one. Just come up to standing, guys. I can't always be on the mat. We're gonna go into a burpee. This time we're gonna go full chest to floor burpee. So down, out, back up, and jump. Here we go. Down, chest to floor. Come back up, jump, and in. Chest to floor. Lower through those arms, guys. Find that control. Power through those legs on the way up. Big jump. 15 seconds, guys. Come on. You can do this. Stay with me. sprawl, hey? It just really takes it up to the next level. All right, on our backs, arms and legs up. We're gonna go alternating toe reach. Let's go. Arm up, reach for that toe. Squeeze up through the abdominals. Find that breath control. Keep that low back press into the mat. Almost through this one, guys. Squeeze everything. Exhale, squeeze. Beautiful. Come on up. Back into supported side plank. So we're here, supported side plank, arm above the head. We're gonna squeeze everything in and reach. Squeeze and reach. Reach. Beautiful, guys. Everything tight. Almost through this side. And flip it around. Sorry, guys. I feel like a piece of lips give up bothering me. I'll be looking all crazy on the camera. All right. Up into that supported side plank. Reach and squeeze. Guys, I'm human. I make weird faces sometimes. Get distracted by a lip skin. <laughs> it's still there, it's still bothering me. <laughs> Reach and squeeze, guys. Make sure you're really squeezing up through those hips, keeping those hip bones parallel to the wall. We're not rotating back as we squeeze up. Working those obliques, getting that nice strong core. So important, so necessary for a holistic training program to work the core. Beautiful, guys. Come on up to standing. Big sip of water. We're gonna do exactly what we just did, but from standing. So taking strong stands on the supported leg, reach that arm up, squeeze it in. I gotta get it, guys, or else it's gonna drive me nuts. Squeeze it up. Knee to elbow. Really squeeze. Place your hand there and feel that crunching motion. Feel it lifting and engaging. Almost through this one. Beautiful. Ah, big cleansing breath. You know, we gotta do the other side. So find that nice little soft bend, micro bend in the knee. Drive through that heel. Feel the engagement through your glutes here. Get ready to crunch. Do you wanna challenge yourself? Focus on the balance this time. This is just another way 
lift up that practice, guys. Squeeze and find that balance. This way you're bringing in that side booty as well. Working the core and the different muscles as well because it's stabilizing you as well as that crunch on the obliques. Make sure you're really reaching away so you're getting that full crunch here. Woo. Beautiful guys, from the top, halfway done. Back onto our backs, we got those heel taps on our back, knees bent, chin to chest. Let's go. Take them up and slide. Reaching for those toes. Now that you're nice and warm, guys, you might be able to get a little further. Reach, make them work. Reach as far as it'll go. If you're just wearing a sports bra in this move, you might find it a little harder to go from side to side. Your back gets stuck to the mat. So try and get those shoulder blades off the ground. Pick them up. We've got less than 10 seconds. Look towards the sky, guys. Beautiful. Stay on your back. I'll flip backwards. Windshield wipers. Hands out to the side. Knees at 90 degree angle. Point the, point the toes up towards the sky. And let's take it side to side. Squeezing it up. Remembering to keep those shoulder blades pressed into the ground. They're not lifting. And you're only going as far as your body will allow without lifting. The shoulder blades stay down. The low back stays down. Now we're just swishing side to side. that side plank so either supported on the knee or into full side plank we have got dips Lift up and drop so you guys can see that I have my one leg over top my bottom leg this is just giving me a little bit more balance so I find if I don't have to focus so much on the balance in this move that I can engage my obliques a bit more because I'm not worried about falling But if you want to challenge yourself and go for the stacked feet option, that's totally okay too. Use the breath. Beautiful. Quick sip of water, guys, before we do the other side. Crushing it. Crushing it. Getting those abs. Pick it up and dip. At your own pace here too, guys. I want you to really get the most out of each of these moves. So you take them at your own pace. If you're just building that strength, slow it down so that each time you go down and up, you're really engaging through that core. Feel out each of the moves what feels good to your body, where you feel like it's building that strength. We got less than 10 seconds. I know those shoulders are starting to burn. We got it. Right on guys, back into Russian twists. Option to challenge yourself and pick up a weight or to lift the toes off the mat. Lay it back and start your twist. All right, guys, from here, pick up those legs. Come on, 10 seconds with me. 10 seconds. I want you to pick them up for 10 seconds. Challenge yourself. Balance on those sits bones. All right, option to drop the toes back down. Your 10 seconds is up. If it's feeling good to you and you want to stick it out, for these last 12 seconds, do it up guys, come on. Squeeze that tummy, squeeze that core. Woo! All right, 
you guys. Burpee, burpee sprawl. We're crazy, we're wild, we're strong, we got this. Here we go, three, two, one. Drop it down, chest the floor. Pop it up at your own pace, guys. Some of you may be flying through these, trumping me, surpassing me. That's okay. We're all on our own journeys, guys. We are. Tuck those toes. Jump it in. 10 seconds, come on. Push through. Show me how strong you are. Show me that strength. One more. Woo! Ah, awesome. Lean down. Onto our back. We've got the alternating toe reach. Toes out, arms out. Let's go. Lift and reach. Squeeze everything up. Get that shoulder blade off the mat. Chin tucked. Gaze it up at the ceiling. Finding some length in the back of those legs as well on that kick up. Beautiful. All right. We got those side plank pulls in the supported side plank. Knee bent on that forearm. Let's squeeze. Strong guys, keep that core nice and tight. Pull, bring that knee right to that elbow. Each time, meet in the center. Squeeze, lifting up through that hip. Reach and lower. Flip around for the other side. Bend that leg. On that forearm, let's go press it up and let's squeeze. I know your shoulders are getting tired too. They worked a lot here. They supported and held us up. Squeeze it in. You are strong and amazing guys. Nothing can stop you. Once you put your mind to it, once you say, this is my life now, this is what I do. I get fit, I get strong. Nothing gets in the way. Nothing stops you. You show up for yourself every single day. Beautiful. Whew. I forgot to set my timer properly. Come on up. Bend that knee. Side squeeze. Ooh, we're gonna work the same side. No, sorry guys, we can't do that. We can't put our obliques through that yet. Can you challenge yourself and squeeze those obliques and stay balanced? Option to add a weight here in the hand. Something lighter, five, maybe eight pound weight to challenge those obliques further. Give it a go. If you're feeling spicy today, wanna challenge yourself, give it a go. Shake it out. One more side, guys. And we are done this workout. We got that nice Here we go. Find that position. Two, one, squeeze. I am gonna work my balance. I got it in me today. Squeeze it up. 
guys. Last move. Everything you got here. Everything you got. Make them work. Our core can handle a surprising amount of work before it burns out. So you can definitely work this. Come on, pull it through. Whew. Stay strong in that balance. Beautiful, guys. I'll pause it there. We are all done this workout. Have a little stretch. Work it out. You don't need to do too much in the way of stretching your abs, guys. We usually tend to do enough in the day to create that space. Beautiful. One more on each side. And lift towards the sky. Well done, guys. I hope you have a beautiful day today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys tomorrow.